Welcome back to Prime Time, everybody. We're here for some more Enshrouded. And uh, yeah, I'm still having a bunch of fun with this game. This is really cool. I like the exploration aspects of it. I, I think we're going to be doing a bunch more exploration and looking around and seeing what there is to offer because I got kind of a checklist of things I want to go through. But on our last episode, we ended up finding the Alchemist and we found the Hunter, two more survivors. And it turns out, actually, it's kind of cool. The Alchemist is actually this Balthazar guy that we've been, uh, that we've been reading up on who left all these notes who I guess created this whole flameborn process he, he turned himself into a flameborn which is kind of cool so um, we ended up building him a house we built the house for the hunter um, we found a bunch of Sasquatch things that we had to beat up and it was, it was a good time it was a lot of things to find and now we got even more things to go look for because we have been given Two more survivors, the last two as far as I can tell to find, which is going to be the farmer and the carpenter. And I presume that once we've found both of them, that we will basically have access to all of the crafting recipes that are available out there. I don't know, I don't know if there might be more stuff we could find, but it sounds like, because all of our recipes seem to be coming from these different um, NPCs. So let's go ahead and jump on in and get started. Uh, there's another thing I do want to take a look at. Balthazar man mentioned this thing called Eternal Spells. I, he didn't really explain very much what they were. So I don't know how they function, but the idea of an Eternal Spell, it almost sounds like a permanent buff almost. I don't know how it works, but I would love to explore it more and see what exactly the answer is. So. Um, all right, well, that loaded up nice and quick. Cool, very nice. Uh, we also went and found salt. We, we figured out how to make leather. Um, we figured out how to make dried berries, all sorts of stuff. And I've been learning bits and pieces and learning more about how the game functions together. And I realized that, like, I was talking about how, like, the game just respawns everything every time you launch your server again. Apparently, that is only true for things that are outside of your building area. So, like, if... Uh, if things are in your buildable area and you get rid of them, like, say, a rock or a tree, they permanently are gone. And I guess it just, it preserves everything in there, including things you do, like, any of the terraforming that I've done over here a little bit to experiment with stuff. Like, this was not here before. I put this, I, I built this while I was playing with the, uh, with the rake. Um, but I, I ended up spending a lot of time grabbing supplies so that I have plenty of stuff to work with so I don't have to go hunting for things too much. But we've got kind of three goals. We've got the Carpenter over here. We've got the Eternal Spell right there. And then we've got the Farmer up here. I feel like the Farmer is probably going to be the easiest one to get to because I can teleport pretty close to him, it looks like, from here. Because I set up a second beacon to do things. So... Um, I think we're going to start by just going over there and we're going to make our run to see if we can get a, get to the farmer and bring him out. And I'm hoping that means like he'll help us like grow food and stuff like that. I don't know if that's really a thing, but it feels like it would make sense. I still got to find the mortar, figure out how to get that, because that's something that I need to make certain recipes um, for the alchemist. Hello, hello, hello. We appear to have reached the farmer's little ruin vault thingamabobber. Who's protecting this place, I wonder? Um, also, how do I get up there? Uh-oh. Well, we might be flummoxed already. Uh, oh, no, stairs! I found the stairs! Is there, is there nobody protecting this place? Does nobody like the farmer? Or are they all hanging out inside? Oh, we got ourselves a little bit of an elaborate vault here. Okay. We got grapples. We've got... Okay. Ooh, this looks pleasant. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, ow, 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 that hurt. 
That was really, really finicky jumping. And I'm not a fan. This game is not really good at platforming. And I kind of wish it would stop trying to be. Hello, more lightning. Oh, go oh boy. Yeah. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna eat some berries. And drink some water. Because that'll make everything better. And, um... Yeah, let's do a bandage while we're at it, too. Oh, you can just run between them. Okay. I didn't need to run through entirely all the way. Cool. Hey, it's a button. I wonder what that does. All right, so then we just got to get up, I guess. I really wish I had more stamina. Stamina makes climb. You need a lot of stamina to climb, apparently. Like, a ridiculous amount. And I think I figured out why the scavengers and such aren't in here, because, like, this place sucks a little bit. Um, so where does it want me to go? Like, it had me come up here for a reason. Is there a grapple that I'm not? Ah, there is a grapple. Oh! <laughs> I'm glad I saw the second grapple one time. And then, uh, okay, I don't need to do any more platform. I can just go up. Cool. Anything else here? Nope. Right, this looks pretty straightforward. Some some not fun platforming, but overall not not too bad. All right. Oh farmer. Uh, was there a? Oh, that's a door, isn't it? Yep. And we've got traps. Ah. Okay, I apparently didn't get hit by that one. Another button! Do we did, are we just looking for all of the buttons to open the way to the vault for the farmer? Or is the farmer going to be the top of this? Ooh, chess. Executioner's axe. Yeah, we're probably not going to use that. We'll probably get it turned into runes. Uh, let's see. Any... There's a third button somewhere. I think I'm going to take a gamble that the third button's downstairs somewhere. I'm taking a gamble. It might be a very stupid gamble, but it's a gamble I'm taking. Because we found the, the one button on the second level. And we found another button on the third level. My hope is that there's actually supposed to be a button over here, too. Ow. Ow. Lava hurts. That looks like it's a door. Yes, it is. Forest longbow. Hell yeah. Let's take it. What's it what's it do compared to mine? All right. So, I have level 12, 21 power. There's lots of backstab. Okay. Hmm. 
That actually looks pretty good, period. I might, I'll take that and I'll probably upgrade it. But I'm not seeing a button. I hope I didn't gamble poorly and come down here when I shouldn't have. Front row. Okay, well, let's, I guess, start climbing back up to the top. I guess. I didn't even think to be on the lookout for buttons, so it's entirely possible I missed one without even really looking for it. Get my stamina back, because climbing sucks. Alright, so where the hell... Oh, it turned off the lightning. That's fancy. Okay, so that's one button. So there was another button, I'm going to guess, between that one and the one that I found up top. So a button somewhere in here? Maybe? It gives us this nice little checkpoint. Oh, there it is. I can't believe I fucking missed that. No! Oh, I was out of stamina, wasn't I? God damn it. Today I learned that apparently you need stamina to, uh... Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, I thought that was full. Never mind. Oh, okay, that is shaded weird. Okay. I, I learned that you need a bunch of stamina to do grapple hooks. I have two full bars of stamina. I really would like more. Because again, you saw how much that little tiny climb went through in terms of my stamina. It goes through a fucking dump truck load. All right, let's try this again. I can't believe I missed this button. I feel so stupid. So incredibly stupid. Okay, so... We have now found... The Farmer. I can make popcorn! Ooh! Emily Frey, the Farmer. Emily, welcome to the... Welcome to the homestead. All right, so it looks like that might be it for in here. New quest, growing stronger together. Well, you know what? Let's get the heck out of here. And actually, let's go... Let's... Uh, you know what? Let's let's just go back to the home. We'll, we'll go back to the homestead. We'll see what the farmer can do. We've still got the eternal spell and then the carpenter to get... But, for some reason, I think that there's red shroud over there, which means we got to be really careful. So, um, let's, I guess, grab the... Well, first things first, let's get rid of that. And let's have Oswald take a look at this bow we picked up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, enhance. All right, I got to get more of my um, runes. I forgot. The rest of my runes are in here. Uh, it's also got my staff, I think, too. Yep.
Okay, enhance. Okay, so... 28 plus 6. Yeah, this... Or, 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 I'm sorry, not 28. I'm sorry, 18 plus 6. I don't know why I said 20. Um, 18 plus 6. Fire. Yeah, it's going to make it a little bit better. Um, it's still got the same crit chance boost. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'll get those runes back. Thank you very much. And let's go ahead and summon the farmer and see what Emily's got for us. Oh, Emily... Hey, how you doing? Let's, Let's plant a seed. Okay, all right, we can do that. We're all homesick, myself included. If you can build me a room, I could help you make the place feel a bit more like home. How about it? Yeah, we can do that. Well, what do you got to craft first? Okay. Um. Ooh, popcorn. Oh, that's what honey is going to be for. We said corn cob and honey gets us popcorn. Which gives, ooh, stamina recharge. Mm, all right. We can make seed beds. Uh, let seedlings germinate in a safe environment. And farm soil. Healthy soil that will increase the growing speed of most plants. And that's what bone meal is going to be for. Okay, okay. All right. Well, let's... um. Let's uh let's do some let's do some farming then I guess. All right, all right, Emily, you can we can get you in your house now. Okay. Emily, please come on down to your new house. The world opens up. Huh? You're doing it, Flameborn. You're healing the Springlands. But our world is vast. Trust me, I've traveled it plenty. Set your sights on the ancient for the on the ancient spire in Revelwood. It will open our world more. We're all with you. Okay. And can we make this now? All right, so we can make more of this. All right, so we made a bunch of soil. I do want to get her a nice house, though. I want I want to finish things because, like, she doesn't have any windows. She doesn't have a door. Like, we're, we're missing some important stuff for this house. So let's go ahead and, and finish that up before we do anything, um, like, farming related. Because, like, how is she going to work without a nice house? Uh, put that there. Let's go back into our wood. Da, 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 da. And sticks. Organize. Organize. We've got rock. And then, oh, I gotta put the, um, those back. And then I'm going to need just regular wood to make bed stuff. First string. Um, I need to need string. All right. String is always the fun part. Not enough. Actually, I think I've got some string in here. I'm also going to need furs for... Uh, I swore I had string in here. I guess not. Let's put some of that stuff away, though. All of my plant fibers tied up. I'm just going to have to go on a on a string finding adventure at some point, or a fiber adventure. So, beds. We're gonna go ahead and make crude bed, and then crude wooden bed, or mattress, and then 
bad. So let's go ahead and set that up after I put my scaffolding back because I don't need it anymore. Uh huh. This is very important that everybody have a nice place to sleep. All right, so Emily, I'm going to put your mattress or your bed over here. I think that this is going to be very nice. It gives you some nice sun and it's by a couple of windows. So it gives you some good breeze. Uh, and then we're going to get a door and some windows. I need three windows. We also need a chair for you and a table. We're going to get you... Let's see, we need metal scraps for that. Windows. Three windows. And then... We'll need fences later for gardening. Metal scraps. You got it. And then door. We're going to get a nice door. All right, and so what I've been doing, I've been kind of digging, putting, I've been kind of digging, putting the table right next to a, um, right next to a window, so that way they can eat there at the window and get all that nice sunshine and a breeze. Oh, wait, did I have... Oh, I have four windows in here. Whoops. So, all right, we'll 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 fix that in a minute. But we got the door. We're almost... We almost got your house, girl. And... Window. And then we're going to need some more illumination. I'm going to need some fireflies to make a lamp. They'll be in here, right? Need to find more fireflies. I got to go running around for those at night. But, uh, illumination. A couple of those. I also... Would like to make a nightstand, store a bed. See, we getting fancy. I'm coming, Emily. Got the one lamp there. We got a nightstand. We're gonna put right there. We'll put another right there so you have this very nice spot that you'll be able to go to sleep like this is going to be nice we'll, ha we'll have some cool stuff in here it's a really big place i feel like she needs like a kitchen or something at some point like this is a really big studio apartment <laughs> but it it's done for now i think i think we've got enough for now it actually might be the biggest house i've made Let's stick all of this stuff back in. One thing I absolutely do want to do is I want to look up everything I need to make, um, to do the magical chest. Like, I can't remember everything. That I need. I know I need shroud liquid. And I know I need shroud ores or something. Uh, it's pinning. Okay. Uh, just spores and liquid and a chest. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, that's neat. I like that. That's a nice idea. Um. Put the rest of the stuff back. Okay, so maybe that's something I do relatively soon, is get all of the stuff going for... Um, for magic chests, because that would make crafting a little bit more straightforward. 
Um, can we hit him with the flame? Nope, we're still waiting on that. Let's see what this does. Can I, like, place it? How does this work? No? Okay. Is it a building thing? All right, more shapes. Uh, terrain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is what I want. Oh, okay. All right, all right. That's how that works. Okay, so you just lay down the terrain. All right, so here's what we'll do. Ooh, there we go. All right, so we just lay this down. Four, five. How is this going to work now? I've made soil. How do I... How do I farm with it? Oh, did I need the farm so Okay, apparently I need to maybe build that first. Okay, let me go make some more farm soil after I make some more bone meal. Um, the bone meal I get made in here. At some point, I think I'm probably just going to tell everybody that we're going to make a community center where y'all are just going to make your... where we're just going to put all the crafting stuff. Just to make it a little bit simpler for everybody. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is where our episode ends for today. I do apologize for it being a bit on the shorter side, but I had an urgent personal situation come up. But at the same time, I didn't want to lose story progression from the videos so that y'all can follow my journey through Enshrouded from start to finish. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.